Hey family, what's going on Klauser and thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of our Town All 9 Let's Play and guys this is the results as you can see Max Golden Elixir Store just the results of our live stream that was earlier today be sure and follow me on uh, Twitter and also obviously subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you know when we're streaming but guys I'm excited today because we have some huge upgrades in store now I have a Lunian army training up because it just happened to be training up but the second arm I'm going to be using today is the Queen Walk basically what you call the Boston special so before we get that started guys I've got full storages so let's go into our progress base what where where is where is the tree what is going on right now ah oh, you it's you okay we've got a couple seconds before we go into our progress base guys we're gonna spend some of this loot and then we're gonna go out and we're gonna do some live raids which are gonna be a lot of fun and we'll watch probably the most entertaining attack of the entire stream in today's video if you missed the stream now we'll uh, hop over to the progress base let's first of all start off our laboratory guys I have decided that I want to upgrade my healers next in the lab but for the sake of comments, I would love to know what you what upgrade you think I should be doing in the next, uh, you know, one of the healers are done. I've got lots of options. The barbarians and the archers, the giants, wizards, dragons, baby dragons, the lightning spell, and then a few dark elixir upgrades. You get the poison spell, earthquake spell, haste spell, and the valkyries and the golems. Let me know in the comments what which one you think I should upgrade next um, after the healer is all done. So let's go ahead and spend this 3 million elixir. It's going to be amazing, guys, because level 4 healer so much much better for queen walk and my queen is almost level 15 which is huge for queen walks so let's go to, let's go ahead and do this guys in three two one bam nice okay so we have elixir nice and available we've got a ton of elixir available uh you know in the store just so let's go ahead and spend a little bit of gold just to make sure we've got plenty of room and now guys we are good to go for doing some live attacks i've got my lunian so let's go ahead and go find a lunian raid i'll show you an amazing replay and then we'll finish off this video with a level 14 sub max level queen walk and i think it's going to be a lot of fun guys so let me find a good base that i think um you know we could three star or do pretty well on and get a ton of loot hey guys it's a dead tunnel 10 perfect so it's dead it's got these these infernos that are completely dead we've also got these um these expos are completely dead unfortunately for us the queen is still there level 29 queens massive but i think that if we just focus all of our energy and get the dark elixir we've got some max elixir or dark elixir drills that um we're definitely going to be going after and then this top one might be difficult to get but we could definitely get the bottom too so let's go out the base directly at the queen and in the healer or the uh, sweepers um blind so we got some max uh balloons in the clan castle i believe so let's go ahead and get this thing going here we got balloons down we'll put down our minions but not all of them we'll hold on to a few clan castle as well and then here's the thing so my next attack is going to require um is going to require the queen so i'm going to try my best not to use the queen in this uh in this raid that way we don't have to you know we don't have to bring her back to life so let's put down our minions hopefully they they go for the uh for the queen there let's haste up this group over here actually things are going pretty well for us right now um i am actually pretty impressed i i don't know how much further we're gonna get to go i think we're gonna swag this this haste spell actually um let's go ahead and throw it down just for fun nope that didn't work okay so we got one drill we have another one free and clear and let me go ahead i'll throw that poison down we'll put these minions down and then i'm gonna put my king down and we're gonna try to get the king to get both of those dark elixir drills not too shabby guys look at all these too these uh these minions doing some work very very nice king's gonna get through these level 10 level 9 walls and um then hopefully we can use the queen behind and grab some more loot but i cannot allow my queen to take a whole lot of damage so let's get the king or let the, let's get the queen in first then we'll send in the queen right after he breaks through the wall we got a minute and a half so no rush no problem relax klaus it's okay we're good okay king is through queen going through now we're gonna pop our king's ability early because those are some strong heroes guys king going down that's a level 12 <laughs> wow level 12 king versus level 20 whatever that was king very nice and we're gonna also get the dark elixir out of this storage not a whole lot in it but it's better than nothing king gets through the wall very quickly because he was already damaged and now guys we have to keep our queen alive in order to do the next attack so hopefully we can get through and uh we could take out maybe 
Yeah, there's no way we're going to get to that drill, guys. Let's go ahead and close out so we don't lose our queen. 2,700 Dark Elixir plus a loot bonus from Master League 3 is actually very, very good. So nicely done. Decent uh, gold, decent elixir, not too shabby. Now I want to show you guys this hilarious replay, guys. If you go in and we watch this attack on, I can't read the name, but it was a three-star. Look at this base, guys. If you watch the stream, you saw me react to this base. I was like... This is rushed. Look at all the loot. Holy cow. And then the finale, the end of this attack is hilarious, guys. So definitely stick around to the end of this, this attack. Let's watch the replay. Starting out with Lunian, I went ahead and attacked on the queen side. Um, and the minions behind, obviously. I actually did not hold on to any uh, minions like I normally do. But no big deal. Heal spell on... I or haste spell on either side. I'm sending haste in front of the balloons as well. There's no defenses in the core. So there's no need to rage the core. And I end up hasting both sides one more time. And then I save the rage for the largest group of balloons to go into that, that uh, wizard tower. And that air defense there at the very bottom. Drop the king and the queen to distract the defenses down here. And also take out the sweeper. And then we deploy the Rage Spell, and it's going to wipe out the Air Defense. It's also going to wipe out the Wizard Tower and get up in the grill of this Expo. And then obviously we need to get in there and take out this Air Defense as well. So pretty decent group of balloons still alive. Guys, I attacked in this way because I wanted to make sure that I didn't waste any spells by just keeping the haste going around the ring. Again, there's no defenses in the core, so it was a really easy base to attack. Plus, the defenses were underleveled, so it was perfect find. And interesting to find a base like this with over 500,000 golden elixir in the Master League. Generally, you find bases like this in, you know, like the Crystal League or the Gold League. So I was very, very fortunate to find this live on stream. Looks like we've gutted the entire core, and now the troops are going to make their way down here, work on the enemy king while uh, we, you know, get through some walls and whatnot. I'm going to take up these barracks. And then here is the problem, guys. We got corner huts on either side, on the right, on the top, and on the left. So they're, they're going to get rid of these barracks, and then they're going to work their way toward the uh, builder hut on the right. And at this point, I'm like, I've got plenty of time. Uh, loot hype in the chat, you know, for the stream. Everything was really fun and amazing. Look at all those minions, guys. I mean, it's like we didn't lose any minions, which is amazing. And this is, this, we're getting to the, the funny part. So, I'm thinking, yeah, this is an overwhelming three. No big deal, right? Well, watch this. Watch this. Minions coming toward this builder hut right down here. And watch. Wait for it. Air bomb, baby. Boom. Luckily for us, the minions were separated. But I thought that I just lost all of my minions. We got lucky. It was like, it was the last the last shot for that base to try to defend and we still got the three star over a million combined loot and the amazing full loot bonus so beautiful stuff absolutely loved it now let's go out and let's do a live queen walk attack i don't have my king i don't have clan castle troops we have to be very careful how we do this but i've got two my my two rage spells my two jump spells five healers because they're not max and some giants and a whole bunch of archers with some wall breakers. So let's go out. Let's do one more attack and see what kind of loot we can find. Hey guys, this is a interesting base. Cool J sitting on half a million gold, 2,500 dark collector. So what we're going to do with this base is we're going to do our best to gut the core. But the main focus is actually gold. 500,000 gold. That's a lot of gold. I could definitely use it. I, I wouldn't mind having it. So what we're going to do is first of all, look at this. No queen. It's upgrading. She's upgrading. She's asleep for a while. That's awesome. So where are my sweepers, guys? We got one sweeper pointing up, which is unfortunate because that's where, you know, half the gold storages are. And uh, where's the other sweeper? Um, either I'm blind or it's not there. We're, okay, it's not there. That's what I'm going to decide. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to attack this base on the side of one expo. We're going to start the queen on this side here. She's going to handle the um the the corner building and then work her way this way we want to make sure that whichever direction she goes i'm gonna let her go whatever way she wants it's not really that big of a deal to me um whichever direction she wants i'm gonna make sure that she gets the closest air defense so that the air defense doesn't get her you have to get that air defense first so if she goes up toward the north we can get that air defense no problem but if she goes south we're gonna definitely have to break her into that large compartment there so let's do this let's drop a couple of giants and a bunch of archers those uh, those sub max um giants are awful so there's a wall breaker there we go we have broken into that compartment there that'll work put down a few more giants and a few more archers should funnel her into the base 
and now she will get in there. She'll be able to get both of the um, air defenses and no big deal. So let's drop that raid spell down on the queen. Everything's looking good. Let's uh, put the, the giants down as well. She's going up ahead. Very nice. So the giants are up ahead now. The queen, so once we pop the queen's ability, the giants will uh, be tanking that expo unless we kill that expo beforehand. That would be nice. Um, so all is good there. We got some uh, some archers actually wiping out the king for us. That's perfect. Also, the queen's getting the archer tower. The archer tower. Air defense. There we go. Very nice. And then she should actually step up. She's going to get this gold storage. So that's two out of the four gold storages. And then, um, yeah, everything is looking good. Let's, let's actually drop the jump spell right in the middle there. That way, she doesn't get tempted to jump over into this compartment. I don't really want her to. I want to go into that town hall compartment and then maybe get some more of the gold on the other side we got another jump and another rage if we need it because we did deploy that uh that jump spell a little bit prematurely but not too bad uh so i've got a second rage spell if i need it there we go queen steps up that's awesome okay we are inside of this little compartment now if the jump spell disappears i can actually relocate that jump spell to a better spot so that's actually not too bad and i've got another rage Let's, uh, let's put down some of the archers just for the elixir collectors over here. And um, actually, we are running out of time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's put down a second jump just like so. Let's also set a rage. And that rage can be set ahead. That way it's in front of the queen. And now we've got a whole bunch of archers that we're just going to have fun with. We're going to spam these archers so that we don't run out of time and don't waste them. And uh, now the queen should jump over the wall. There we go. Jump over this uh, other wall, please. If you don't, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Pop the Queen's ability. Get get ahead of the uh, the elixir. Oh, we ran out of time. That's a bummer. But the best thing is we gutted the core. We got all that dark elixir, including the town hall. And with the loot bonus, nearly 400,000 gold and a ton of elixir. Dark elixir was great too. Almost 3,000 dark elixir. So not too bad. You can do just fine with a sub max queen. I got level 14 queen with level 3 healers. If you really are paying attention funneling your troops, keeping her under rage when she's taking up too much damage. That was that actually went very, very well. I'm very pleased with a two-star on a decent base design. Now, I would have loved to have seen the gold storage underneath Cool J's name. I would have loved to have seen that gold storage go down into my pocket, but you can't have everything. You don't always get what you want. So, that was awesome. Let's close out now, and let's spend some of this loot, guys. Again, acc accumulated loot from the stream. Had a blast. Uh, did two full stream, uh, two full boosts. So it was a two-hour stream, and it looks like in this video we have been promoted to Master League Two. That is awesome. The higher loot bonus, um, not too shabby there. Now let's spend. We got two builders. The uh, three builders that I have working right now are on the new gold mine, the new Archer Tower, four ten all night, and the new air sweeper so both all those were cheap upgrades i went ahead and did them just to use up gold for my storage now guys let's spend our elixir let's do that let's spend our elixir the only buildings that i have left on the base for elixir is going to be our dark elixir drills we can either uh, um, upgrade this uh level four to level five or we can up upgrade this level five to level six which is max and i think because we have the elixir we might as well do this upgrade this drill to max so 5 million elixir. We've already done the healer in the lab, so let's do this, guys. 8-day upgrade, free dark elixir in 3, 2, 1, bam. Very nice, guys. So the elixir has now been completely spoken for, which is awesome. Very happy about that. And now we need to think about what's next. We've got 92,000 dark elixir, and I'm sitting on a queen that's level 14. She needs to go to level 15, guys. That is what needs to happen. Do I have any of the treasury? Uh, actually, a decent amount of the treasury. Not bad. Uh, we'll collect that here in a moment. But we need to get this queen upgraded to level 15. 75,000 dark elixir. That will be a seven day upgrade the first one actually because it's accumulating 12 hours every level up to 15 and then it stays seven days after level 15 all the way to max level 45 um so we'll do that last which means that we have one builder we're going to use on the queen so we need to spend the rest of our loot on the walls now what that means is that we can go ahead and request not request we can go we can go ahead and collect all of our treasury loot and spend all of it on our walls so that means we can do eight million gold on walls that is crazy good progress guys one two three four five six seven eight and that is nine so that should be it there we go okay so um yeah that's a lot eight million golden walls let's do this guys in three two one bam nice 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 
Uh, do I have more? I have a little bit more, but not enough to make a difference. So we'll go ahead and click that over. We can do one more million with the elixir. So let's go ahead and get that done, guys. Three, two, one, bam. And now all the gold is dead. All the elixir is gone. Let's upgrade this queen. I cannot wait. Level 15 queen is amazing. So much better than level 14 because you get the, the what is that? The third level? I think that's the third level for the special ability, giving us a 0.2 extra seconds. So we have an extra, we have a, I think it's one second per shot. So we're going from 3.8 seconds for her special ability to four, which gives us four shots in the special ability, not three. So level 15 is a huge upgrade. Definitely something worth rushing to. Also, you get a plus one summoned unit. So that's uh, going from six to seven. So that's awesome as well. And that's a whole new graphic. I'm not used to looking at that graphic. That is pretty sweet. All right, so let's upgrade her, guys. 75,000 Dark Elixir in three, two, one, bam! Nice, guys. Seven days and the queen will wake up. I am so stoked about that. We are completely broke of gold and elixir. I feel I will feel better if I go ahead and collect that. So let's do that. There we go. Doesn't look as bad now. Okay, so going back into our defensive base, that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in as I had a blast spending all the loot that we accumulated during the stream. Be sure and follow me on Twitter if you want to be let know about the next one or just turn on notifications with the little bell on the YouTube app. Um, like the video if you liked this video and subscribe. Join the Klaus family if you have not done so already. I love each and every one of you. And as always, guys, I will see you all again next time.